Imagine staring at a robot, and it blinks back at you. Not just blink. Its eyes twitch, its lips curve, its expressions almost feel human. Creepy or revolutionary? Today we're talking about a Headform's ultra-lifelike humanoid robot head, Elf Schwan 2.0 from their Elf series. And trust me, once you see it move, you'll question where humanity ends and robotics begins. Now let's get into it, because this thing didn't just trend. This thing made people feel something. So why is a Chinese startup building elf-like robots with expressive faces? The answer is simple. Connection. A headform's whole aim is to improve human-robot interaction. Not just the functional press this, get that, but the kind where a machine senses you're excited or nervous or just curious and mirrors that back in a way that feels natural. The vision isn't to make robots that only look like machines. It's to build characters that express emotions, respond in real time, and pick up on the non-verbal cues humans trade every second. Eye contact, micro smiles, tiny shifts in attention. If robots are going to step into our public spaces, a head form wants them to feel approachable, even warm, without pretending they're human. That's a shift from steel helper to emotional interface. And here's the big question. How does a robot make such natural expressions? It starts under the skin. In the elf line, a head form targets up to 30 facial degrees of freedom. Think tiny artificial muscles working together, driven by a precise control system. The company highlights custom brushless micromotors tuned for ultra-quiet, quick response, and compact size, so you don't hear a mechanical whir when she blinks or lifts a brow. The result is fluid micro-movements, an inquisitive brow, a subtle asymmetric smirk, a gentle squint that sells intention instead of animation. Elfschwan 2.0 leans into that fidelity. Those little beats are what make viewers do a double take. Now the look, you've noticed the ears. What's with the big elfin vibe? That's deliberate. Schwan is part of an elf series with fantasy-inspired aesthetics built to captivate, spark curiosity, and reduce the uncanny valley. You read it as a character, not a human replacement. That framing softens expectations and makes the interaction feel playful instead of eerie. More living art than lab demo. 2.0 doubles down on that presentation, including a recent collaboration clip themed around NetEase's Sword of Justice, which shows the character styling in a tighter, more polished package. But design alone isn't enough. The illusion lands when sight and sound sync up. Built into Shuan's eyes are RGB cameras for gaze and eye contact, with mics and speakers completing the loop so she can listen and reply as expressions move with the words. It's not just hear text, play audio. The blink, eye dart, and head tilt are timed like a person emphasizing meaning. That's the gap between a talking mannequin and a presence that feels alive. On top of the hardware sits the mind. A head form describes a stack that blends self-supervised learning with language and vision language models so the system can read what it sees, understand context, and coordinate speech, gaze, and expression in real time. In plain English, words, eyes, and face work together. That's why even a short 2.0 clip feels immediate, not canned. And yes, the body is still a sculpture by design. Chuan is a full-body figure that doesn't walk. The innovation is concentrated in the head, eyes, and expression system. By avoiding biped complexity, a head form focuses on what really sells personhood. The face, the voice, and the way she looks at you while you speak. That makes 2.0 better suited to long installations, stable, low maintenance, and it elevates the living statue vibe that turns passersby into an audience. Where does a robot like this actually belong? Not warehouses. Think exhibition halls, retail flagships, hotel lobbies, hospital info desks, live stream sets, and splashy launch events. Places where presence and memory matter more than chores. That's a different path from companies chasing utility tasks. A head form is staking out the emotional frontier, teaching robots to communicate presence, how to be with people before they carry the groceries. Eyes, smile, or timing. What made you double take? Comment below. What changes in 2.0 versus earlier clips? The character look is more refined, 
The timing of expressions and gaze feels smoother, and the overall presentation is tighter and more theatrical in the new demo material. It's evolutionary, not a rewrite, and it stays true to the same thesis. Realism plus character design beats raw utility when the goal is human attention and comfort. Of course, everyone wants to compare. How does this stack up against names you've seen before? Think of Sophia, the media-famous android that could smile and frown but often felt a little steppy by today's standards. Then there's a mecha, with stunningly smooth motion and expressive gestures, but presented as intentionally robotic, silver face, exposed mechanisms, so you never confuse it with a person. Xuan 2.0 takes a different bet. Push facial nuance to the edge of realism, then steer it through a fantasy character so it stays approachable. It's not better or worse, it's a different goal. If a mecha is a platform, Xuan is a performance. If some humanoids chase chores, Xuan chases connection. And in the right setting, gallery, expo, flagship, connection wins. Reactions are split. Some people say, this finally crossed the valley. Others get chills. That smile is a little too good. Both are fair. A lifelike face trips deep social wiring. We're built to respond. That's the power and the responsibility of this design. Are we blurring the line too much or finally giving machines the ability to meet us where we live through timing, gesture, and shared attention? The conversation isn't just technical. It's cultural. Xuan 2.0 is the perfect spark. Practical questions? This isn't a shopping cart gadget, and the company hasn't posted public pricing. Think bespoke, high-end, and case-by-case. Case. It's an experience you plan around, something you install, light, and present. Zoom out. What happens when emotional realism becomes normal? Customer service changes, education changes, entertainment changes. The face of an experience could literally be a face that learns, adapts, and never gets tired. Not every robot needs a hyper-real head. Sometimes a screen is perfect, but the bar for presence is rising. We're moving from does it work to how does it make me feel? That isn't fluff, that's design reality. Human attention is scarce and emotion is the gateway to memory. Schwann 2.0 exploits that truth with precision. And there's craft. This face didn't happen by accident. Sculptors and engineers iterated to find lines that read graceful instead of eerie, skin tones that hold up under bright lights, eyelash density that sells a blink without looking theatrical. The more they nailed those analog details, the less the audience had to work to accept the digital illusion. Lesson for every lab. If you want feelings, put artists at the table. Here's the part that matters most for you watching right now. We're used to measuring robots by tasks. Lift capacity, walking speed, battery life. Schwann 2.0 asks a different question. Presence. Can it hold your gaze? Pace a smile just right? Make you forget, just for a second, that you were ready not to care? If yes, then even a static body can change the room. Even a small movement can shift the mood. And a single, well-timed micro-expression can say, I see you, better than a thousand lines of dialogue. So where does this leave us? Elf Shuan 2.0 shows robots can do more than work. They can make us feel. Maybe that opens a new channel for learning, comfort, and delight. Maybe it blurs lines we thought were firm. Either way, this is the frontier we're crossing in public right now. Not only making machines stronger or smarter, but socially fluent. That's why this moment matters. I'll end with the only question that really counts. Would you be comfortable talking to a robot that smiles at you just like a human? Picture yourself in a lobby or a gallery, standing three feet from a face that looks at you, listens, and answers back with a tiny, perfect smirk. Does that feel welcoming or weird, exciting or unsettling? Drop your take in the comments, because if Schwann 2.0 is a preview, we'll all get our turn to find out, sooner than we think.